All right, let's talk about how you can connect a mixing console to a USB audio interface. This is a very effective method for you to send analog signals from your mixer to your computer for live streaming and recording. The way it works is that the analog signal gets converted into digital signal by the audio interface that can be processed by the computer. I have here the Euphoria UMC 202 HD from Behringer and this is what I'm using for this video but you can use any combination of mixer and USB audio interface and achieve similar results. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start things off by connecting the USB audio interface to the computer and for that I'll be using this cable. This is a USB type B cable that goes into the back of the USB audio interface and then a type E that goes into my computer. If your computer has a USB type C port then um, get the appropriate cable or an adapter that you can use. Um, this USB audio interface is bus powered, which simply means it receives its power supply from the connection made to the computer. And as you can see here, the power LED is on. Next thing you want to do is to configure this USB audio interface to receive line level signals. This, the output of your mixing console, irrespective of whatever output you're connecting to the audio interface, that output is a line level signal. That's what it gives. And you want this to be able to receive line level signal because it can receive both line level signal and instrument level signal. So you do that with the push of this button. Right now it's already uh, configured as a line level signal because this button is out. When I push it in, it becomes um, set to receive instrument level signals. Instrument level signals are high impedance signals, sort of what you get from connecting um, an acoustic guitar directly to the audio interface, so line level. Uh, the next thing is to, because we're receiving line level signal from your mixing console, you really don't need the preamp. So you can turn them all the way down because the signal is already hot coming from the mixing console. But what I do is because I want to retain some level of control here at the uh, USB audio interface, I will engage the pad button so that you can still have some level of control here. And then this output knob can be turned down because it doesn't affect the level of what goes into your computer, except you're connecting something, maybe um, connecting to a monitor or to a speaker from the output of the audio interface. Then that, uh, this output knob controls the level of what comes up from here. So I'll just turn it all the way down for now. Now connect the output of the mixing console to the USB audio interface. I should know that you can connect any output of your choice uh, depending on the mix you're going for. You can connect from the main outputs, the auxiliary outputs, if the console has group and matrix outputs, or even direct outputs, you can connect them as well. If you're confused as to what output you should connect, then you should check out my video on understanding different outputs on the mixing console. I will link it in the description. For this video, I'll be connecting the main output left and right to input 1 and input 2 of the audio interface respectively. And to do that, I'll be using this cable. Um, this is a balanced cable that has a quartering TRS on one side that can go into the main output port because it uses quartering TRS and the other end has um, an XLR or a mill XLR that will go into the USB audio interface. You can use any form of cable, uh, quartering TRS to quartering TRS, you can use XLR to XLR depending on what you have at the, connect the connectors you have at the mixer and at the USB audio interface. You can use balanced and unbalanced cable. The beauty of connecting the um, mixer to a computer using the USB audio interface is that you can use a balanced connection for this, which simply means you don't have to get the audio interface and the mixer close together. You can take this as far as you want it to be and use a very long balanced cable without the risk of losing signals along the way. So let's connect right away. So I'll connect um, from the left at main to input one of the audio interface and I'll re repeat the same process for input 2 right of main so input 2 now to test out this setup I'll quickly connect this Shaw SM58 dynamic microphone to input 1 of this console I'll attempt to set gain so we have something coming out from the console check 1 2 1 2 3 4 I'll have signal coming from the console and uh, hopefully into the USB audio interface. So let's check out our recording software. You can use any recording software of your choice, but for this video, I'll be using Audacity because it's free and it's easy to use. So I'll set my recording device to the USB audio interface, I'll monitor my audio level and hit record. 
So this is what the setup sounds like connecting the mixer to the USB audio interface and to the computer. And because I'm recording in stereo, you can pan all the way to the left as you can hear right now. And right now you're hearing my voice from the right. Very neat setup. Now, if you don't have the budget for a USB audio interface this expensive at the moment, you can click to watch this video right here for an alternative but effective method. Thank you for seeing this video till the end. I'm Kelvin. I'll catch you in the next one.